Okay, so we're on video four of the build along uh, little project. <laughs> Coffee, very, very important. I've got my all present pencil. Why? Well, you never know. To get back to what we did uh, last video, we drilled the holes. Yeah, very uninspiring. Uh, like I mentioned, last one took longer than I anticipated, but uh, now is to get rid of the excess material. Okay, a couple of ways you could do that. Number one, and our primary method will be hacksaw. Okay, so get rid of most of the material using the hacksaw and then delve into files. And uh, as a, a little added note, Files is something you can never have enough of, and this is just one of four drawers I have full of files. It doesn't matter whether you're doing a simple little knife like this, or a really expensive art piece, you can never replace hand. Whatever you do by hand can never be replaced by machine. My two cents of wisdom. Okay, so let's get cracking on this lot. Hold on, what is this? <laughs> I mentioned no power tools. Yeah, okay. Uh, but when you, uh, if you've got one of these, a uh, little baby grinder, okay, uh, you can use that as well. Just don't use a grinding disc, use a cutting disc, irrespective of uh, the actual brand. This is a local brand. But use the one millimeter thick one. That is for our American friends. A 364ths. I don't even know whether I said that correctly. But anyway, use one of those on carbon steel. Uh, just stay away, I'd say about a half a mil away from your outer scribe line. All right, and then clean up, clean that up with the file. So the next shot uh, will most probably this thing be uh, cut out. And then also, sorry, there is another method. You can go to your belt grinder. All right, if, you've, if you're so lucky to have one, and then just stock remove all of the outers. But I do suggest taking off at least the, the large chunks. All right, so the next shot will be working. Okay. Not as fun as I thought it was going to be. Obviously, this is going to take a while. So, check back a later. Okay, so a little side note. When you're cutting and you're cutting towards these, stay. You'll notice the holes is halfway drilled into the side of the, the metal. Yes, and I'm a bit winded from... <coughs> using that thing all right so uh, you'll be cutting at the top edges of those you don't want to go halfway through but I'd much rather use the file to get up to your scribe line all right more cutting all right so that section's done now for the rest okay so another little little tip um, when you are using a bench of ice to actually clamp your your work in place uh, pl clamp your, play your work as close to the center of the vise and as low to the vise jaws as possible to eliminate two things. Number one, shattering. What I mean by shattering is uh, when you're, you're uh, sawing, you've got the cheat, cheat, cheat. That's all caused by vibration. The closer you get to the actual cut uh, when you're clamping, the, the less of that vibration is and the more effective the cut becomes. So uh, keep it as close to the bench vise as possible. Then you can see the scribe lines. I'm not trying to saw as close as possible. All I'm trying to do is just get rid of the material as quick as possible. All right, so uh, I want to have some coffee and then uh, continue cutting or sawing. So that screeching sound, this is what I was referring to. Okay, so let me reposition as opposed to this. Yeah, here's the difference. Something else you want to consider is just scribing little cutting parts well away from your actual scribe lines of the knife. This just gives you a visual indicator as to sawing a straight line. So if you're cutting off those, uh, then getting in there with a file makes life a tad easier. Right, so I'm done. <laughs> I did not use my grinder. No, I did. Uh, <laughs> I was breathing hard and I said, no, crap with this. All right, so um, I used the angle grinder and uh, I finished that cut there, that cut there, as per my scribe lines, and then I took off uh, the bulk of steel that was on there. All right, so the next step will be to go to files. I am going to be using my belt grinder to profile the top. For those of you that do have them, but predominantly we'll stick to hand files. All right. 
Okay, so now it's on to file work. All right, guys, just a note on uh, using hand files. And a hand file is the one that's tapered to the front. Okay, so this is a bastard file, rough cut. So there's two ways. Your hand is always on the front and your other hand at the back. Doesn't matter if you're left handed or right handed, your hands will just swap around. But if you're just doing normal filing, you'll see that rounded rocking motion and it'll end up with a rounded surface. Let's to prove that point. Okay, you'll see that I don't have flat scribes or flat cut lines. So by doing just a forward motion and lifting up, coming back, you end up with just a flat surface and not a rounded surface. And using a basket file, well, as you can see, she cuts. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. Okay, I'm not sure whether I've mentioned this on a previous video, but uh, using ordinary whiteboard chalk or blackboard chalk, uh, a uh, using ordinary ordinary blackboard chalk on your actual files. All right, doing that one-handed. Yeah, while holding the camera doesn't really work. But now filing, that acts as two things. Number one, it lubricates the actual file itself and it keeps the file from clogging up without actually uh, diminishing the amount of uh, material the file takes away. All right, a bit of wisdom brought from you uh, through me by Master Smith Kevin Harvey. All right, cheers. Still filing. Still filing, but we're almost there. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done. So let's have a look at the slot. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so now to test, moment of the truth. <laughs> uh, oh my word. Oh, well that's uh, close enough, I reckon. So let's just line those up. And then the top. Okay, so now you can actually see where, uh, well, there's not too much deviation from the original pattern. Yeah, I reckon that's good enough. Okay, so on the next video, uh, what we'll be doing is uh, just re-emphasizing the scribe lines on here. Okay, and then carrying those scribe lines over to the other side if you want to, although this will be a, a chisel grind, so it'll just be, be filed on the one side. But if you want to do a, a double-sided like a standard knife, you're more than welcome. So, up to the next video. Have fun. Enjoy. Cheers!